Howdy folks, welcome back to Vintage Story. It's a bright, crisp spring morning here, still below freezing at night. Uh, but it's the next day from the last video and our meat is done smoking. So we're gonna grab that. We go put that in the cellar. Even on us, it's fresh for 46 days. Oops. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I didn't have the wood selected. All right, those are ready for the next batch when it comes along. Uh, but today, yeah, the water keeps getting frozen. I just broke up the ice over here so that stuff could start getting moisturized. There it goes. It was at like 25% moisture. So. Anywho, we're going to go uh, see if we can figure out where this water noise is coming from. But let's go put this in the cellar first. I keep thinking I might add an outside entrance to the cellar, but... I don't know. I kind of like the fact that it's only accessible from the house, but sometimes it would be handy to come into here from the outside by the house. So we're going to go ahead and just throw this uh, smoked meat in here. And then you can see it's good for, for a long, long time. So we're just going to... Yeah, even the bush meat's good for... Uh, not good for much nutrition, but it's good for 1.7 years. So. Uh, speaking of nutrition, how are we doing? We could use some protein, so let me just take this with us. How's that doing on the old protein? Not a whole lot, but it'll help some. So let's go do some digging. See if we can figure out where this water noise is coming from. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if it's not a part of this cave. But there's so many caves. I mean, you can see, just look at all the caves. It's a little crazy. Kind of wish there weren't so many caves. <laughs> I live in Missouri, like the cave state, and we don't have this many caves. Anywho, let's, uh, let's get across the ice there. And I marked it over here. Can I still hear water? Yeah, very faintly. I don't know if it'll come through in the video. I can hear water over there. and I have to be careful because I don't want everything to collapse on my head. So I kind of want to dig down into the hill here. I'm going to use the soil mechanics to my advantage. Okay, so we hit rock there. Yeah, you can definitely hear it now. Hopefully that even comes through in the video. I can hear running water. Uh, I could actually use some more soil anyway, so I will dig some of this up. Interesting. keep collapsing that hill. I did remember to grab a spare shovel because this was just about done for. Used a bunch of dirt making more stone paths so we could use some more dirt. It kind of sounds like it's that way, so I kind of want to keep going this way, but I'm wondering if I should start building this in with packed dirt. I think it's off that direction for sure. So let's collapse this a little more.
All right, let me build this out. And I'm going to start tunneling, I think, and we'll see if we can discover this cave. That up there. Let's get this dug a little bit. There we go. Finally burnt through that shovel. Then let's put the packed dirt here. That should help keep the uh, hill from falling on my head. That one higher. There's no real reason to do this other than just curiosity. And I needed to replenish my soil supply anyway, so here we are. Okay, let's start digging. Oh, interesting. So that was cracked and it fell down. I hear you getting closer. All right, that's cracked, church. That's cracked shirt. That's cracked shirt. Oh boy. I'm not standing. Okay, I'm not standing on. That's cracked shirt. I don't really want to stand on that. If we break through, it all collapsed underneath us, which would not be good. That's shirt. It almost sounds like we went past it. This is all cracked down here, so it kind of makes me a little leery. I forgot to bring torches, so that was kind of silly. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. It's a, just a cave underneath here. <laughs> this is dumb. Yeah, so that's just water coming from nowhere, apparently. And then it goes down into a cave. Interesting. So just like in Minecraft, you can... You can turn the water spigot off. Okay, and then that goes down into there, so we can mark this as a cave entrance now. 
I can delete my water sound. So we have a cave to explore. I see a drifter way down in there. So we're not going to do that today. In fact, I'm going to knock that block off. I do have my ladders with me. Just so they can't crawl up out of there, hopefully. <laughs> and we'll put you in there. So there we go. Now we know. That's where the water noise was coming from. All down in there. And we got a bunch of stone. We got a bunch of soil. Let's get our protein up. And while we're down here, we'll go ahead and check the uh, fish traps. Fish hooks, I guess they're not traps. Spring has sprung, so we're getting a lot of fish. I'm going to smoke that and get a, a nice big surplus of smoked meat for our big journeys. And I really probably ought to get the scythe out because I need cattails. We're, we're low on cordage. So I'm going to grab some of this with my knife while we're down here. And yeah, this biome, it's, it stays cold a long time. You can see it's just eight degrees here and it's the 5th of April. And uh, yeah, it still gets down to freezing at night. Rift activity has been pretty high lately. Uh, the trees are coming along nicely, though. we got all the oaks over there by the house. I've got a bunch of oaks here. Uh, that's for future building if I need to chop them down. Two rifts right next to each other over here. Uh, the burst trees are taking a while, but they're finally in the sapling stage. And we're starting to get a bunch of resin. Another rift there. There are rifts everywhere. Prairie chickens. I think we've got enough meat, and I haven't been getting too many traps lately, so. I think I'm going to actually take these traps up, and I'll remove the markers. I'm going to leave the traps uh, next to the animal pens. Just to get stuff that's coming over there to steal the food. Whee, this ice is slick. Got fishy here. Catfish? Yep. I don't know how to say that. Capricaley? I don't know how to say that word, but... And I'll leave these, like I said, by the animal pens. We'll just leave those. But I can delete you and you. And you, let's go check this last strap out here. And then I've got one over there by the house I need to pick up. Sprout in less than a day. Okay, that's going to finally be a sapling. Might go set up a trap line somewhere else. We've got trap stuff out over here. Need some worms to get in my uh, worm farm there. But I've picked up about all the rocks around here. Oh, that was my original uh, pit, wasn't it? From the, uh, the temporal storms. Well, we'll fill that back in. There we go. Uh, the river, you can see, is still fairly ice-clogged, but it's getting there. Maybe uh, in a week or so, we can head down to the tent mine. Might have to get my grunting stick out and go get some worms. That does work better in the uh, forest, it seems like. Still got our uh, meteoric iron there. And these weird bugged out blocks. 
game block error. Those are still there. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. It's a bug. I thought maybe rocks respawn, but I'm not sure. Pull up. Guess I'm here in the river. Run, bunnies, run. Lots of bunnies over here. I think we're good on meat for a while, though. Hey, there's a wormy. Just hoping to run over here and grab some worms. I don't know why that's collapsed that way. say hi to the trader I talked to him in forever furniture trader what's up Robert uh we could get lanterns from him only six gears you know I might actually do that just to get some more lanterns uh, we have a chair oh we could see some paintings interesting Robert I might come see you eventually I do have a bunch of gears and our house could do with a painting or something to kind of liven it up a bit. No, we don't want green worms. <laughs> Those are bad. I don't know. Do rocks respawn? It almost seems like they do. Pretty sure I've picked up all these rocks before. But then they are really scarcer on my base, so maybe they don't. I've also tried putting down rocks, like, you know, having my own rocks and putting them on the ground. That doesn't seem to work, unsurprisingly. I don't really need any more turnip, turnip seeds. I've got more turnips than I could ever possibly use. Yeah, it may be grunting sticks to get some, uh, some wormage, because the rocks are scarce around here. And just like that, another day is gone. Time flies in Vintage Story. Got more work to do on that path. Oh, we got a, an interloper trying to get into my food. More meat for us. And another bone. Beautiful. All right, let's go drop the worm in the worm farm. That just gets us the uh, case. I need to water that. It gets us the casings to use for the farming. It's just some nice moist soil here, buddy. It was a very snowy winter, but so far it's been a dry spring. So, not much rain. Pop this off. Flower in seven days. Alright, we should have some berries in a couple weeks. All around. There you go. Another day draws to a close. Uh, I did get the leather from there. I only got four leather. And I believe I need six to make a backpack, so... Still waiting on the other leather to get done, and then we can fill out our other backpacks. I'm not sure I can do anything with these. Maybe I can sell them to uh, one of the traders somewhere. Not sure, but see, I've got 29 gears, so I'm going to have to do some trading over there with Robert. I think that's, that's the plan. So I'm going to cut out my fish, and that'll be it for this one, folks. Thanks, as always, for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Didn't know these ovulated eggs.
We're supposed to replenish the fish supply, so I'm going to throw that in my pond. I can get it in there. To take? Not take because there's seaweed there? There it goes. You're supposed to end the video, you know, but I gotta, gotta get the fish. See, there's more eggs. You just end the video and the people don't know if you threw the eggs in the water or not. 